Well, I think there are a number of themes we're going to see emerge in the next few years. And we're already seeing the momentum build. So what are those themes? We're going to see a lot more electrical power for how we get around. Um, now, uh, that's going to be uh, used in, in things like cars, uh, aircraft, spacecraft, and potentially even launch vehicles in the fullness of, of time. Um, second, we're going to see a lot more autonomy in the way that those uh, vehicles uh, operate. So much less intervention, human intervention, uh, much more uh, autonomy in the way that they uh, navigate from A to B. Uh, third, it's uh, entirely likely that we're going to see that we're getting around a lot quicker than we have in the past. Things like the Hyperloop, uh, which will take uh, passengers between cities in rapid time compared to, for example, the existing railway technology we have available. Um, and things like uh, some of the, um, the space tourism ventures, which right now are really geared towards taking people out for short trips into space. The next phase for those will be to take people around the world in much quicker time than they do today, whereby you know, a trip from, uh, from the USA to Australia could be accomplished in a matter of hours uh, as opposed to the, the time frames that are currently uh, available. And finally, leading off from that point, the scope of travel is going to increase as well. So we're already seeing that uh, organisations like Virgin Galactic are offering trips into suborbital uh, space, uh, and uh, we have others as, uh, reaching into that uh, area as well, uh, such as Blue Origin, uh, backed by Jeff Bezos, and uh, we have people like Elon Musk, whose ambition is to allow us to colonize Mars. So we're going to be getting people going into space, initially suborbital, but uh, later on beyond suborbital uh, altitudes. Uh, and that again will change the profile of where we can travel and how we can travel. So all of these changes are going to bring new risks. And the fundamentally, the question we're going to be having to ask ourselves is, who's responsible for risk in this new environment. As soon as you start considering autonomous vehicles, who's responsible? Is it the operator or the manufacturer or the GPS provider or somebody else? And secondly, what regimes will apply to the liabilities for damage to other property or to people or the occupants, the passengers of those vehicles in the future. Those frameworks exist for things like railway travel or for aircraft, aircraft travel, but for the travel with different types of vehicle and to, into space, for example, uh, there is either uh, no uh, liability framework or little, little liability framework to decide who pays and how much they pay when things go wrong. To find out more, read our latest edition of Risk Specialist.